She just went uh, zero R. She just went sing. Thank you. It gives me no great joy, Madam, to referring to what I call this very curious Italian job. Why do I call it Italian? And why do I call it curious? It is a sequence of events that we have witnessed in the last year plus that makes me wonder as to where the country is now headed. I do not wish to take the time of the House in narrating the entire sequence. The certain facts which are overriding, a crime is committed. It is a crime, madam. A crime is committed against Indian citizens in Indian waters, and it is indisputable. The Supreme Court of the country having clearly enunciated that the waters were not international, they were Indian waters in which two uh, Italian marines killed Kerala fishermen on grounds of suspicion that they might be uh, pirates. I'm sure it's not uh, a false assertion to say that Italian waters, Indian waters, particularly our coastal waters, are not infested by piracy. And therefore, for those Italian marines who were not on an Italian flagship, they were on a freighter to have killed our uh, fishermen is, is, a matter, is a matter that should really have concerned the entire nation. They were arrested. For a year they are there. And uh, in a very strange and a curious fashion, again, madam, they are granted a kind of a parole because it is Christmas and New Year, and that parole is to permit them to go home to observe celebrations of Christmas at home. This is very unusual and very strange statement because those, those Italian Medines are prisoners for a crime which is of killing two Indian citizens. Why is this treatment to the Italian Marine? Would Indian citizens similarly imprisoned be permitted to go home and celebrate Diwali or Holi or Ramzan or, or any such? They would not be so permitted. Why was this done in the case simply because they were Italian Marines? This is not acceptable. Thereafter, because they had given an assurance to our Supreme that the Kerala High Court had established that you must confirm and the government must ensure that uh, there is sufficient surety of these Marines returning to India to face the rest of the trial. They come back and thereafter, in what I can only term as a rather strange judgment from the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court says, okay, you can go home and vote in Italian uh, elections. elections. I'm impressed, uh, Madam, by, by the Marines and their desire to go and vote in Italian elections. Do we permit similar treatment to criminals in Indian prisoners for of any... So a question does naturally arise. Why was this special treatment shown? Thereafter, of course, the rest of the events are now known. Uh, the government of Italy has, uh, has gone back on an assurance given here by the ambassador of Italy that they will, the prisoners will come back. The Supreme Court had said they shouldn't, for this entire duration, be under the custody of the government of Italy and it's their responsibility. The ambassador is bound by what he has given as a commitment uh, to the court. I am constrained, Madam, to point out that we seem to be India. As India, we seem to be making a habit of letting 
criminals go out of the country. That is, of course, the example, uh, the infamous example of Bhopal and Anderson. Thereafter, 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 we had the Purulia arms case. The Purulia arms case, we still suffer the consequences. That is after that, of course, the infamous matter of uh, an Italian called Cotrochi, in whose escape from Delhi, the CBI is complicit. And he's, he's now, Thereafter, then suddenly we find these two Marines who are now refusing to be returned to India and yet another fisherman is shot on the coast of Somalia by Americans. That India is not a country that should tolerate this kind of uh, treatment to citizens of India. These fishermen are citizens of India. May I remind uh, my friends and colleagues and esteemed gentlemen on the Treasury benches, that their oath is to the Constitution of India, their oath is to protect and serve the Constitution, is not to serve and protect anybody else. One more point, Adam. there is one more point. It is, of course, our right to ask of the government, what do you intend doing? How do you intend correcting this situation? I'm grateful that the Prime Minister is present here May I leave it for his consideration that the Vienna Convention actually does not override the constitution of a country. Yeah. Simply to say that by the ambassador is covered by the protection of Vienna Convention, therefore he can be violative of the constitution of India, would not, at least to me, be a convincing argument. I do appeal to the government this is not simply a question of the government being tested. We are all being tested. The country is being tested here, and we are being tested in the eyes of the international community as to where India stands on issues of protection to its own citizens. Let the government rise to the occasion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.